Have you heard of Plato, the legendary Greek philosopher? I'm sure you must have. He had a teacher named Socrates. He mentored a famous student some of you may have heard of. His name was Aristotle. Can you imagine how fascinating the world must have been when these titans walked on it? In any case, getting back to our subject on hand, did you know that Plato took a keen interest in geometry? Ancient Greeks treated geometric constructions as a challenge to be done with only a straight edge, a ruler without marking and a collapsible compass. Plato even made it out to be a game. Let me tell you of three constructions that remained unsolved until the 19th century. Squaring a circle, that is constructing a square of the same area as a circle. Doubling a cube, that is given a cube, constructing another of double volume. Trisecting an angle. Now, do you have it in you to give them a shot? Remember, you can use only a ruler and a compass. When you get at the end of our lesson, I'll tell you how these were eventually solved. Before we start, I want to reiterate an important point. These constructions are meant to be challenging logical puzzles and not practical ones, okay? So anyone can construct a perpendicular bisector with a protractor and a ruler. The aim is to follow the rules. Let us now try to construct a tangent to a circle from a point outside it when the center of the circle is known. We start with our trusted compass and draw a circle with radius 6 centimeters and name its center O. Next, we draw the segment OP of the length 10 centimeters in any direction. Then we draw a perpendicular bisector to segment OP. Let me do a quick recap of the process. Keeping your pointer at P, draw two arcs that measure more than half of OP. Now, keep your pointer on O and with the same measure, cut the two previously drawn arcs. Let the arcs intersect at point X and Y. Join XY. Let XY cut OP at M. So we have XY as the perpendicular bisector of OP, bisecting it at M. All good? Okay. Next, taking M as the center and OM as radius, draw a circle. Let the new circle cut the original circle at points A and B. Join PA and PB. PA and PB are the two tangents to the circle from point P lying outside the circle. Now, measure the lengths of PA and PB. Theoretically, PA and PB are tangents to the circle because... Triangle OAP and OBP are right angled triangles with the radius OA and OB perpendicular to AP and BP respectively. And how did we get these triangles as right angle triangles? That's because the angles OAP and OBP are both angles in a semicircle where the circle is the one having its center at M. We know that angles in a semicircle are right angles. Therefore, OAP and OBP are both equal to 90 degrees. Wow, this is getting to be as much fun as it's challenging, right? Okay, now we go one step further. Let's try to draw a tangent to a circle from a point outside it without using its center. Is that even possible? You may ask. But do you think I would pose a question to you if I couldn't fascinate you with a super cool solution? Let's start by drawing a circle. You can simply trace it using a bangle or using a compass and draw a circle of any random radius. Now, take any point P outside the circle. We draw a secant to the circle from P and let it cut the circle at two point A and B. Now, we first bisect PB by constructing its perpendicular bisector. Let M be the midpoint of PB. Similar to what we did in the last construction, by taking M as the center and MB as radius, we draw a semicircle. Next, we draw a line perpendicular to PB through the point A. Let it cut the semicircle at C. Then taking P as center and PC as the radius, we draw an arc. Let this arc cut the given circle at points Q and R. Finally, we join PQ and PR to get the required tangents. 
Remember that I had promised to tell you how Plato's three challenges were addressed? Tutimate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.